This is the question of 2014, May, June. Uh, the paper is 1-3 and uh, the question number is 36. So this question uh, says that uh, it has got uh, four diagrams and it says all the devices are same. All devices are same. The cell, emitter, potential emitter and fixed resistor. The distance D between the sliding contact, this sliding contact here and uh, a particular end of the potential meter which is the left end all in the left end is varied the current measure is then plotted against the distance d for which two currents will be the graph be identical so in the first diagram if i connect the sliding contact here current will flow like this from here 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 directly here and like this so at that time this portion is useless so current flows only through the resistor. So since resistance is less, the current should be high. So when D equal to zero, current is equal to high. Now if I connect this contact over here, current will flow like this. From here it comes like this, it flows through the resistor. It comes like this, like this, like this and like this. So that's why current will flow through both the resistors which makes it less. So that's why when D equal to max, I equal to less. In the second case, it is slightly, uh, it looks slightly different from this. Here we have no connection, but here we have connection. So let's see, if this contact is uh, is placed at the left end, what happens here is current flows from here. It goes like this, like this, like this, and like this. It totally bypasses this uh, resistor. So the current flows through only one resistor. So the current is high and the value is as same as this. Now, when D equal to max, or when we connect this contact over here, current comes from here, it comes like this. So it flows through here or through here. Whatever be the path, or even if the current flows through both the path, the case is same. The current has to flow through both resistors, so it is less, exactly like this. So, D max, I less, similar to this. In number three, if we make D0 by, use, by placing the contact over here, what happens is current flows from here, here, it comes here, then here, here, here. So that means current has to flow through both the resistors, which makes current less. So D0, current less. If we place the contact over here, then what happens? Current comes from here, 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 it bypasses the resistor and it comes like this. So since the value of resistance is now less, current will be high. So when D, D max, D equal to D max, current is high. In this case, things is, thing is slightly complex here. If I place this contact at the left side, what happens is current comes from here. It comes like this, like this, like this, like this. So there's a total short circuit, which means current will be infinity. It is limited only by the resistance of the emitter. So D equal to zero, current infinity. So things are slightly different here. Here we have high current only. Here we have infinity. Now when D equal to D max, so that means if I place the contact over here, current comes from here, current comes up to here, and from there it has to come like this because here we have resistance and along this path we have no resistance. So current simply flows from here, 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 and here. So this uh, current is... Uh, has got a certain finite value. Initially it was infinite, now it has some finite value. So, as we compare these four things, the graph of this and this are similar. So that's why the correct choice should be graph W and X, which is in choice number A, like this.